Hey everybody, my name is David. I'm here with a new video where I show you some basics in the editor module where you can change the reality of the picture, you can change background, insert objects and titles and a lot more. So here we go. If you want to open the editor module, just click on any picture from film strip here and select the editor module in the top right corner. You'll also find a histogram here which shows you overexposed and underexposed spots in the picture. You can hide it when you click on this arrow if you want to save the space on the screen. Next, you can see the editing tools for cropping, retouching, selection tools and other tools for editing. Most of these tools contain the next subgroup of tools. You can work with layers in the editor module and with layers you can combine several pictures together, add additional objects into the picture and so on. Your final image is going to be a blend of all these layers together. If you want to add a layer, just simply click on the add. This new layer is empty and you can use it for retouching for example. If you want to add a layer with a picture or title, click on the arrow and choose what you want. Here I'll show you how to add the next layer. In this case I want to add birds to this picture. So I click on paste from file and select the picture with the birds which I have ready here. This picture is in PNG format with a transparent background so it's ideal for this situation and we'll talk about different picture formats in a future video. Now I adjusted the size of the picture. When I want to place birds near the camera, I choose a bigger size and if I want to make them look far away, I make them smaller. When you start making edits with layers, it's a good idea to change the exposure and to do so click on the adjustments. Here you have a lot of options and in this case I want to add some motion to the birds because I want to make the illusion that they are flying. I choose blur and set the angle to 90 degrees. The intensity of the blurness can be set to about 3. Done. We can add any adjustments in the menu to the favorites list by clicking on the star. You can change the order of the list by dragging the mouse. And if you want to be faster with your workflow, try working with keyboard shortcuts. Every function has a set key, as you can see right next to the name of the function. Another advantage of the editor module is working with masks. Masks can be useful when you want to change and edit only part of your picture. When you want to use the mask, click on the preview of the layer and choose mask in the submenu. In case that you have everything done, you should save the picture to avoid frustration. If you work with more than one layer, you will be notified that you have to merge every layer into one or save it as a project in ZPS format. The second one is the better choice if you want to make any changes in the future. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you later.